Hey there, Brewberries, what's up, and welcome on back to Guild Wars 2. We are gonna be jumping right on in today. What I'd like to do is some heart action up this away. So we have this whole area to explore up here, and I would love to get into there to unlock our story, which I'm sure is gonna be dealing with this city area. This actually looks pretty epic. I really wanna explore that area eventually, but this area seems to be pretty much done uh, for the most part. There may be a little bit of uh, stuff over here that we missed, but we'll come back and do that at some point. Right now, we're going to go this way and take a look-see at that spyglass. I think that'll be a really good one. I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and I hope you're enjoying Guild Wars 2. For any of you who are actually in Guild Wars, uh, let me know. Like, uh, if you would like to friend me, uh, send me a message or something to know and i'd be more than happy to to accept friends and stuff on here because i'm I, I don't accept a ton of friends on like discord and stuff but this i would be totally down for i think it, it this is designed to play with people and so i i think it would be a really fun time uh so yeah if you want to uh, play together or anything like that you're starting new or you're interested like feel free join in i mean if we want we could join in on uh making a guild and stuff that could be kind of fun uh, I know that Honestly, some other people I've been watching have sport, made guilds. But it takes a fierce and wild heart to survive outside of the sacred valley. When you're ready, test yourself against the untamed spirit of hair. If you can outlast her metal, you may have what it takes to weather the challenges of the frontier. Okay, sorry, Galeda, I was interrupting you as you spoke. So it looks like we need to go to, let's go to this heart that is help Bajarni honor the spirit of the hare. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so uh, thank you to those of you that have been giving me tips and tricks and stuff. I have figured out the uh, action camera stuff, like that making it so there is a button so you can turn it on and off. And that has actually been really uh, nice to know because I like using it for moving around and fighting and stuff. Um, but it is a little bit is this a sacred hair it's a hungry rabbit interesting okay um but it's been very helpful and you also let me know that daggers are indeed an elite profession i kind of thought that that was the case but good to know we won't be doing daggers and stuff right now we'll stick to the great sword unless we can do uh, we find some like axes and stuff that we try and we actually like it so what do we need to do for this hard find hidden rabbit food and bring it to Bjarni. Scare hungry bunnies away from anyone carrying food. Hey, get out of here, bunny. Uh, did that count as uh, as me scaring it? I don't really know here. Okay. What do we need? So that's a rabbit. That's a longhorn. So we need to scare bunnies. And it looks like we need to get this cache of food. Oh my gosh, this is so... Oh my gosh, that... Are you kidding me, rabbit? I'm gonna... That is heinous. Okay, let's go. And if I see that I need to scare someone... Yeah, get... Get out of here, rabbit. You jerk. This is my food. Well, technically it's Bajarni's or whatever his name is, but. Oh, why are we so slow? Oh, we can use an ability. I'm stupid. Here you go. I found some rabbit food. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, let's go find some more. Oh, man. This game is actually quite a blast to play. I've been into What is that thing? Uh. What is this? Eh. Eh can't get to it but i don't know what that is that's kind of interesting and oh i don't like the uh, effect it has when you uh are your camera's in it but oof i get away from here you jerk nobody wants you nope go away are you kidding me get off of my bunny food are you kidding me I, these bunnies are infuriating me. I will, I'll scare these bunnies. Get out of here, you jerks. Oh, man. Okay. Oof. This is probably one of the more frustrating things that you have to do because there's, this is like 
12 bunnies attacking me. What am I supposed to do? Ooh. But this game is so, it's just so chill to play. Like, I like just jumping in and doing menial task type of things. It's just like, nope. Get out of here, bunny. Nobody likes you. Nobody, if you own a bunny, I'm sorry. I just do not, do not like bunnies that much. They are cute and all, but I'm a huge fan. Man, that goes up a lot when you do that. I can understand why. It's such a frustrating thing to do. Is there any more? Okay, there's one right there. Let's go ahead and get this, and we should be good. Now, let me know down in the comments, like, how many of you actually play Get Out of Here, Bunny? How many of you actually play Guild Wars and have played it for a long time? I'm curious to know, like, how many, because, like, I know this is primarily, like, we've done Minecraft for the most part for a long time, but be interesting to know. I know we all play different games and stuff, and so I'm just curious what the spread is of if you guys actually play both or if you really just stick to games like Minecraft, like building games and stuff. I think that could be be just I'm just curious. I'm just curious to know because it uh, I know we all play different ones and I certainly play a ton of different games. Um, get away, run away from the bunny. Don't no, don't touch me. Oh, my gosh, that is the most terrifying thing. I cannot explain how a bunny can inflict such fear. Hello there. I found some rabbit food. Oh, my gosh. This is taking forever. I'm going to just complete this and then we'll move on. Oh, thank goodness. That one's done. That was absolutely heinous. Now let's get on going. Oh, we leveled up. Sick. Okay. Uh, one second. Let's figure out this. What did we get? Okay. We unlocked underwater combat. I am not a fan of underwater combat, but it's fine. Weapon swapping is at 10. Man, we get a ton of stuff at 10 and 11. Interesting. So, and then we did complete this. I wonder what actually he sells. So, the karma system is actually pretty interesting because they all sell more like accessory based things. At least that's what I found is they're generally accessory based. Spirits of the water, so the hair, hair totem gives vitality and it's an accessory. You know what? We'll buy it and I think we can actually equip it because I think you can do more than one. Yeah. And then we can equip this so we're prepared for underwater combat anything here let's see what does a shield do we have bash your foe with the shield and stun them oh we unlocked this block attacks okay we're gonna do the great sword because i want to know what exactly this is charge and strike your foe okay so we run and then i guess we slap them or something i'm, I'm not quite sure cool well, let's go and get exploring. Ah, here's another eyeglass person. That's good. Get some more XP for exploring the world. It's not just the wind and the snow that test you out here. If you're seeking a challenge, take the road north out of the valley. Beware the sons of Svanir. Their dragon cult inhabits the northern area like a dark, violent shadow. Well, that's not good. Nobody likes a violent shadow. Sometimes this takes forever to for them to actually circle the stuff. I know I don't have to actually watch it, but it's good. I've never explored this this app portion. I've only explored the human portion in my other characters, so it's good to get a good lay of the land. Now let's check and see. I think maybe we'll go over here. It looks like there's an armor smith. Is there a weapon smith that we could maybe get axe? Ooh. So these are like skills and stuff, it looks like, right? Huntsman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's go over here to the right and let's try and find some potential options for, is this the armor smith? No, armor smith is over here. Looks like maybe that person has a, well, let's get this first. Let's, uh, this also, also, this is random, totally random, but because we do do Minecraft on this channel, this would be a sick build style to do like either a winter version or a green version. Like that would be so so cool i think this is such a cool build style um and, and just really really inspiring like i would love 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 to do this type of style so if you're interested i mean and you watch my minecraft vids definitely and let me know what am i doing here i'm gonna grab a snowball and i'm gonna peg that person okay or not 
Though we need to throw snowballs at children and dodge snowballs thrown at you. Fight off any hostile. Oh, don't you dare touch me. Man, we. Oh! That dude has so much. These kids, parents, thank you. Okay, okay. We're gonna. We're gonna t throw it. Yeah, that's right. That is so right. We definitely. Definitely just wrecked that kid. <laughs> Got him. Take that. Never have I been given permission to peg a child in the face of the snowball. But dude, she has such an arm. All right, where's the, where are more snowballs? Oh, there's some, okay. Let's go down here, peg these kids, teach them, teach them the business. Die. <laughs> I'm sure these kids are concussed based on how large I am. Like that, that is a full speed snowball right in the face. No nothing no 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 holding back on these kids look at that that was point blank smack in the face what what are you guys doing here okay interesting spinny spin and bizarre i'm not really sure what those were there fight off any hostile creatures when the children when the children make someone angry Interesting. Okay. Are you a child? Aya. Yeah. Are you a child? Aya. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. This is the best mission. <laughs> Egg children <laughs> in the face <laughs> with snowballs. Aya. Yeah. Okay, that was the best heart I think ever. What in the a thal? What are you? I don't think I'm going to win this. Yeah, no, I am certainly not going to win this. Oh, I totally missed that. What is this thing? A Cathal? Sorry. Those kids would try the patience of Raven. Thank the spirits you were here. Oh. You're a weaponsmith. I was wondering. I was kind of curious. It's not usual that they just have armor smith. They usually have like both. Okay, let's see. What does he have? Any axes? Those demon kids, watch out for them. They look innocent. Look like innocent children, but they're really a bunch of rabid wolf pups. I'm sure they're harmless. Let me take a look at your wares. <laughs> Literally, just like I don't really care. Just let me know. Oh, they do. He does have an axe. Let's buy two axes just to see. Ah, yes. So specialization, we need spell breaker. So what all can we use? We can use the long bow. That might be worth checking out. Great sword. We can use the hammer. I'm not really interested in the hammer. We can use a mace on either hand. So we can do a double mace. Interesting. We'll buy two of those for fun. We can use the rifle. Might as well buy it. Shield we already have. Scepter, doesn't matter. Torch, Berserker specialization, and then Warhorn. Ah, I don't really want to use the Warhorn. So let's check these guys out here. Let's see, what does this ability do here? So if we use a mace on both, we get Smasher Foe, Basher Foe, Thrasher Foe. Smash and Bash and Thrash, and you give them weakness on the last one, okay. This is block the next attack, counter with an attack if you're a melee range, gain adrenaline if not attacked. Stop blocking and gain adrenaline. Okay. So is that just like a, a... Yeah, okay, so it's just a, a, a kind of hold. Daze your foe with a brutal pommel slash. Hey, yeah. Brush your opponent's armor, leaving them vulnerable and gaining might. Vulnerability and might stacks doubled if you hit a disabled foe. Okay. So you would want to like pommel smash and then do this and you would get double might and double vulnerability. Vulnerability? Yeah. Jeez, that gives 10 vulnerability. That's ridiculous. Smash the ground with your maze, damaging your target and sending out a shockwave that damages and knocks foes down. Cool. So let's, okay, so there's an enemy over here. Let's go and try this out. You're the veteran, veteran dude, okay. So let's 
try this combo out. So you, you daze, and then you do that, and then he gets a lot. Interesting. Okay. So these are fairly slow. Bizarre. Jeez, those guys are loud. The uh, Mesmers, they are super, super loud. Okay, so that's the, that's that. What is, well, what's the bow, the long bow? Let me see. So we learned pin down, smoldering arrow. Okay, so we got shoot a pair of arrows at your foe. Oh, okay. Then we've got fire spread of three flaming arrows, burning your foe. Cool. We've got shoot a slow arcing arrow that explodes on impact. Yeah. Bonk. Okay. And then shoot an arrow that explodes on impact. And then causes blindness. Cool. Fire an arrow that bleeds and immobilizes your foe. Okay, so it's it's not the most uh, crazy thing, but ignite a target area burning nearby foes and it affects that. Okay, so let's, um, sorry, Dolyak, see what this is like. And let's dodge that, and we didn't do anything there. Okay, so he's been dodged. See what this is like. Ah, oh, no. Okay, let's see what this is like. So let's do this. Oh, that, wait, that, that immobilizes? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, I'm not really sure if I like that or not. What's the rifle? Firing shot at your toe, your, your toe. Fire it at your toe, just shoot your foot. Gain might if you strike a vulnerable target. Fire a volley of shots at your foe. Interesting. Okay. Then this is shoot an explosive round that explodes when it hits, striking enemies in a cone. Well, that's cool. Okay. What in the? Get out of here, bear. Oh, that was weird. Immobilize your foe, then evade backwards. Okay. No, don't touch me. Ah, uh, and this must be like a snipe. Fire a powerful shot, damage increases with adrenaline level. And we are trying to kill bears. Okay. Seems to do a lot of damage actually, which is pretty interesting. Let's equip these two guys and see how we like this. So there's more bears there. <laughs> Just walk up and slap them. Ah, more bears here. Okay, so we got regular attack and then spin around. Interesting, interesting. So is that a, did I throw? Looks like I throw my ax. Whoa, what is happening? Then this is leap at your foe with a devastating attack. Effect increases adrenaline. Okay, I may actually like this. So if we, we can throw the ax. Oh, these bears are no longer enemies, but we completed that. So I like the ax actually, this move. What in the world is this? Spin and attack nearby foes. You can move while spinning. Oh, you can damage 15 times. Is that 15 times 495? Let me know. Is this the way the damage is laid out? If you play this game, let me know. Because right now I read it as damage. You 15 times this number. Or is it 15 times to get up to 495? So instead, and you're doing more like 40 damage per tick of the 15. Oh, and you get a movement speed increase. Interesting. Woo. Whoa. This is literally, if you play League of Legends, this is like Garen, just with axes. That's awesome. Okay, let's let's use axes. That thing, that sounds like fun. I think that'll be a good time. Um, and, well, cool. Let's go and get a little bit more of the map explored. Let's just go this way. And also it's cool is you can uh, kind of explore the map without, uh, ooh, let's go over here. 
Uh, you can explore the map. We're gonna go up here, but then... Oh, are we getting attacked? Oh, yeah, we are. You are a jerk. You take that. Oh, we leveled up. Beautiful. I want to get this uh, little map point here. And what does the level up do for us? Oh, we get the gathering skills, which is great. And next level, we get to swap weapons. And then we get our personal story, which is awesome. And that is what we're going to... We're going to level up, I think. And then that's where we will be calling it. Okay, cool. So this has been done. Let's go and continue exploring get across this here bridge and hopefully we'll be able to unlock the personal story i think that's going to be a really good place to leave it off and then what's this heart do patrol the road to crossroads haven keep the path clear and eliminating any enemies along the way destroy sons of spawnier camps hidden around the ice steps okay very cool so looks like i think we need to go this way I would imagine and so we need to just patrol this and are you a spawn here oh my gosh what in the why why would you do that why would you do that you know what i'm just gonna spin and attack you okay yeah so it, it does look like it is indeed the this is gonna be weird because so if I throw this and then, th oh my gosh. And then I spin and I move. That's, uh, I don't know how to feel about that. I feel like that is pretty crazy. Let's uh, jump to you. Hiya. It's a little weird with the action camera, I think. Oh, I accidentally hit Q. Didn't mean to do that. Do I get a heart bit if I break this? Oh, very cool. Not sure how to feel about the action camera. I'm so used to having to control it like this that I'm just not sure how to feel. Now, we haven't really read what this actually does. Let's go over here. Oh, I missed. You are a jerk. Stop that. Okay, so this is a spin. Yeah, we should definitely check out what this does here in a moment. Uh, and let me do this, and then we'll spinny, spinny, spin, and just attack everything that is around. Okay, that's broken, that's broken, that's broken. Okay, let's read our skills for a moment, because are you enemies? Ice brood wolf, those are creepy looking wolves. So this is just the chop, chop, and you deliver three final chops. Uh, and so that is pretty standard. Spin around and attack all nearby foes. Gain, applying vulnerability to each hit, you gain fury, which I imagine is this. Or no, that's adrenaline. Gain fury. Oh, it gives crit chance, okay. Um, for each foe hit. This, you throw an axe that cripples. Okay, so the axe cripples when you throw it, dealing bonus damage at lower, lower health thresholds. Cool. Strike your foe with both weapons. Gain quickness for each strike that hits. Oh, skills and actions are faster if you do that. Cool. And then the spinny spin. Okay. So we can cripple this dude. Hiya. And we can do all sorts of stuff. Oh, okay. So that actually, the, um, oh, the leap is anus though. Yeah, the leap is not a good leap at all. The F1 leap. It's so bad. Oh. Interesting. Is that person using... That is what I want. This is what I want my necromancer to do. I want the greatsword in my necromancer. That's exactly like that person has exactly what I want. <laughs> with the with my other character that's what i'm aiming for this guy i don't know i don't know i'm not really sure if i like the um the axes i'm trying to like them but let's uh throw this throw this again so how much health does this have yeah that is okay we're gonna attack you. We can do this. And then <laughs> throw our axe at them. Hey.
That is pretty cool. I do like the spin. I just don't know how I feel about the rest of the abilities. I just am not really uh, feeling it. But it looks like if we do actually do... What is this? Help Albin Chronicler. Okay, we'll go do that real quick. Interesting. So I'm trying out the... What is this? What are you guys? Okay. You guys are kind of strange looking. Broker, calico, okay, so we need to slay rock dogs or trade Jotun objects from the surrounding areas in exchange for Jotun runestones. Give runestones to Albin. Are you Albin? I know you're neither of you are Albin. Albin? Albin? Are you Albin? Ah, you're Albin. Okay, so slay rock dogs. You're a rock dog. We'll go slay you. Okay, I'm trying out the mace now in my main hand. Oh, interesting. I can just like block instantly. We interesting. And then what is this F1? Oh, you're a Moa. I'm sorry, Moa. What does this do? Stun your foe with a skull crack. We don't really feel like these guys die. Interesting. Okay, so this is a stun. Level one, stun for one second. Level two. Okay, so we just need to kill some rock dogs, I guess. Let's just do that. All right, I can kind of see the benefit of having an axe because it just makes you attack stupid fast. What is our what is the sword ability again? Okay, this is a 109. This is 143. Bleed your foe, bleed your foe, bleed your foe, and then we can lunge and then we can jump. Okay, I think I may actually like this because I like having a gap closer. Yeah, I may like the sword more than the mace, I think. I just want to experiment around and make sure we have like different w weapon choices. What is, what is, pick up what? What are we picking up? Do we have a rock? We have a rock. Okay, let's uh, throw this rock at this dog. Take this. <laughs> oh, I used the wrong ability. And then the sword is an immobilized with a flurry of bleeding strikes, effective increase, effective increase, eff effect. Oh my gosh, I could not talk. Effect increases the adrenaline level. Mother of pearl. Okay, let's jump up here. Let's kill you. Yeah, man, that uh, having the axe in the offhand is pretty dang good. Catch rabbit. Yeah. Okay, and release. I don't know what this is doing. Trade Joten objects. I have what is I have a rabbit, but what's it for? Do you want this rabbit? Knowledge is power. These Joden are friendly. Ah uh, yeah, they're desperate. Okay. Hmm, okay, where's another rock dog? There you are. Oh man, we are so so close to be leveling up. Alright, I'm gonna go level up real quick. Well look at this place. Isn't this pretty crazy? This is pretty insane looking. Gotta say, it's pretty cool. Oh boy. I may have messed up. I got it. Kill him. Ah. <laughs> you could never kill me. Mighty Iron Sword. Oh man, level 11. Man, I am under leveled for this area, so uh, this may take a moment. We are so close, man. I think if we kill two more, we'll have it. Oh, did you interrupt me? What is this weapon? 
examine it further. Charred metal bits indicate that this prototype had a problem with parts exploding. It would it would not have been a fun weapon to wield. But that is uh, good that we are not wielding it. I think this is it. Very good. And we leveled up. And there it is. Our invitation, I think, to do the story. So we can now swap weapons, which is awesome. Personal story unlocked. We'll tackle that next episode. And looks like we got some cool stuff to look forward to. What did this give us? Not really much. Some money and some more karma. But y'all, I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. I think it's going to be a little bit longer than last time. But hopefully you don't mind. And hopefully also if there's any mic issues or not mic, but like weird crackling bits, I am going to be trying to find a new pair of headphones. I think the my headphone jack that the jack that plugs into my headphone is a little messed up. Uh, I'm hoping it's not my actual mic, uh, which would be really annoying. Um, yeah, I, I'm just trying to trying to figure that out. So if you hear any crackling and stuff, I'm working on it. So sorry about it. Not that's not something I want in the videos, obviously, uh, but we'll just have to deal with it for now. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like in real life. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Guild Wars 2. Uh, bye bye